What makes you woohoo? Is it the triumphant swoosh of a child's first basket? Maybe it's experiencing traditional dance at a cultural festival. Or how about the fresh air as you hike a trail across a local park? When you buy a lottery ticket, you help Saskatchewan Lotteries fund over 12,000 sport, culture and recreation groups. It makes life better, and that's something to cheer about. Visit sasklotteries.ca to find out more. Welcome to the Fringe Fest Flyer. My name is Luke Pennock, and I'm here with a hot take on the hottest plays coming through this here city of ours, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, at the Fringe Festival. Now today, I had a chance to sit down with Wes Borg of the play Get Me the F Out of Edmonton, but actually, it's not really just the letter F. So, Wes, hello. Hello, Luke. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you. We're acquainted from our time in Victoria. Well, you're, well, you're in Victoria, was. but... No, I'm living currently in Saskatoon behind the school. Oh, nice. Hey, it's a, it's a beautiful spot, you know. Uh, so, Wes, why don't you tell me a little bit about your show here? Uh, my show is called Get Me the Heck Out of Edmonton. Uh, heck is spelled with an F. And uh, it's a collection of the amusing songs I've written over my lifetime uh, and a bit of a tribute to my dead friend, Joe. Very nice. Yeah, so you bid this is not the uh, this is not the first place. Sorry, Saskatoon, but we're not the first place that he's done this. You you've been uh, touring this around a little bit. Well, eh? I took it to that that crap hole Winnipeg so I could get it ready for Saskatoon. <laughs> hey, good for you, you know. Yeah, get get the Those get the prep out of the way. In Winnipeg. Uh, yeah, the Winnipeg Fringe was the beginning of this tour and uh, then here and then Edmonton and then home to Victoria. Very nice, and you've got a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool means of conveyance to get you around. I do. She's my home, and she's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw some saw some pictures of us. Uh, so uh, what a it's a what nineteen seventy six 1976 Bandura three fifty Class C R recreational vehicle motorhome. Wow. Yeah, she's pretty sexy. You need a you need a separate license to drive that thing, or uh, no, no, you don't. But you do have to have uh, a certain attitude. Absolutely. <laughs> And you've got all the all the comforts of home. Some of the comforts of home. The most important ones, yes, anyway. Yeah, yeah, there's a toilet. There's running water. Wow. Uh, water heater doesn't work, but the fridge works nicely, and the stove and the burners all work. So that's pretty impressive. An yeah. in-house toilet. It would be a really, really expensive apartment in New York. Yeah. <laughs> so are you? Are you? While you're here, are you? Are you just staying in that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've lived in that since September. Nice. It costs a lot to live in Victoria, man. It's crazy. Oh yeah, no. So I just got tired of giving half my, you know, paycheck away to somebody else. So yeah, this is only 120 bucks a month for insurance, and um, you know, nice. We just live in the beautiful uh, the parking lots of Victoria. Yeah, where where do you where do you usually park it? <laughs> oh, the city runs some real beautiful ones. There's one right down by the water at the Inner Harbor. It's 15 bucks and. For 24 hours so nice when i'm feeling particularly splurgy yeah no there. kidding park by the float planes class it up you got yeah. a you got a hot date you take it on down that's right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh so what are some of the what are some of the songs what are some of the themes well uh, not one to of the get songs, too technical one of the songs is about my wife and it's called that's my wife and uh, the lyrics are such that uh, she's uh She's got a scar on her face from when she killed an eagle. She's 40 years old, but she's barely legal at night. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty I good. like that. Yeah, there's a song about that paper route I had when I was a little kid. Um, it's sort of an Alberta sea shanty. Um, and there's a song about how much I love puppies that is just full of swear words. But all, I just can't look at a puppy without going, that puppy is so effing cute. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, there's... Um, uh, but the, the the whole thing is really, um, I don't know, it's a way to kind of summon the ghost of my dead friend, Joe. Right. And then at the end of the show, me and him do a, a duet. I found a multi-track recording of uh, the song, Get Us the F*** Out of... Oh, sorry, Get Us the F*** Out I can, of I Edmonton. Can, I can bleep it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I found an old recording of the song, um, which we never finished or released from like 12 years ago. So I pulled my vocals out and remixed it and fixed it up and uh, built a ghost puppet and... Uh, now we do a duet every night. It's pretty weird, man. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah. So have you had a chance, like, so since you're since you're touring like this, have you had a chance to stop in at any places along the way and just uh, play some open mics or play a, play a few sets? I haven't found any open mics, but I did um, uh, stop in, uh, oh, what is it, Riding Mountain National Park. Okay. On the way out here and had a little little jam at the campground. Um, and I'm, I'm 
been touring with other fringe artists. So mm. We have a lot of jams in the way. Nice. She's wide open to it. <laughs> That's cool with her. Hey, mm-hmm. as long as as long as you're uh, both consenting, no That's problem right. whatsoever. You, know, you got to give her the right fluids and empty her <laughs> tanks when she's full of crap. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. So uh, so what do you, uh, if I may ask, what do you like about about being here in Saskatoon? About the fringe down here? I forgot how pretty Saskatoon was. It is. You know what you guys need more bridges. <laughs> <laughs> build a couple more bridges across that river. <laughs> no, I I, uh, I definitely found when I was when I was out in Victoria that I missed the the wide open spaces. It was a weird. I didn't expect to ever miss it. Yeah, right. But, uh, and I suppose growing up, you grew up but in boy, Edmonton, right? I, well, outside of Edmonton, actually, uh, Sherwood Park. Yeah, we we were out on, you know on an acreage. So I I you know we had a pony and a we won a cow at a, the Klondike days once. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's where I grew up. So yeah, I hear you. But Victoria, yeah, crazy beautiful. I'm oh there. yeah. Yeah. No, oh, and and easy to find a, you know, nice place to to park a camper and That's right. Have yourself a good night. That's right. Cool. Well, thank you very much for coming in, Wes. It was oh. a pleasure to pleasure to speak with you again. Thank you. And uh yeah, I look forward to seeing the show. Please do. That was the always entertaining Wes Borg from Victoria. He's got the wonderful play Get Me the F Out of Edmonton. That's at the Kinsman Hall slash Cosmo Hall, uh, better known to us locals as the Cosmo Senior Center. Now, you can catch that play uh, on Tuesday, August 8th at 5.45, Thursday, August 10th at 7.30, Friday, August 11th at 9.15, or Saturday, August 12th at 3.50. Be sure you don't miss this one. It is a great bit of musical fun from a veteran performer and with a very, very nice show. All right, well, that's it for me, Luke Pennock from the Fringe Fest Flyer. I'll catch you next time. Back to you. What makes you woohoo? Is it the triumphant swoosh of a child's first basket? Maybe it's experiencing traditional dance at a cultural festival. Or how about the fresh air as you hike a trail across a local park? When you buy a lottery ticket, you help Saskatchewan Lotteries fund over 12,000 sport, culture and recreation groups. It makes life better, and that's something to cheer about. Visit sasklotteries.ca to find out more.